Everybody wants to complain that the president, George W. Bush, can't communicate effectively. And the radio talk show hosts, they're some of the loudest complainers that their buddy, the guy they're supposedly trying to help, can't communicate. They're some of the biggest whiners there is. They, they, they bitch and piss and moan that um, uh, the president shouldn't uh, try to rely solely on them to promote the message and inform the people. But take a look at the other side. Take a look at the Democratic opposition. They fully have the media in their court. If they don't communicate effectively their message, the media will make sure to do it. They have days-long features on some little thing that some guy forgot to talk about. You know, um... What ever happened to the axis of evil? Why hasn't anybody been trying to pound home that message? It's pretty simple. Whenever the president talks about Iraq, just think axis of evil. Okay? The war's not about Iraq. The war is us against the axis of evil. Remember North Korea, Iran, Iraq. And if you're not with us, you're with the terrorists. Just keep that in mind whenever you see the United States military forces and or their supposed allies doing anything regarding Muslim radicals and the proliferation of nuclear weapons. Just remember that. Axis of evil. Why is that so hard for, you know, guys like I won't mention any names, the biggies on the radio. Why is that so hard for them to remember and try to pound home and try to, um, you know, carry the line and uh, get the word out because it is important. You know that the other side, if they're not with us, they're with the terrorists. And as much as uh, it might not sound like the right thing to say, it's the goddamn truth. So remember.